Hi, welcome back to the Ponix Haven. This is Craig, your host. Um, this is the video on the hydroponics self-contained growing towers. Um, now, this is the video. Hopefully, you've been waiting on. You've seen the them in action. I put out a couple videos um, of them hanging in my greenhouse. So this is how I built them. Um, I'm going to try to get them down under three videos, but it may be three videos, but hopefully not. So I'm trying to get them as short as possible, but there's a lot of information in there that I'm trying to put together. So, um, so just bear with me on everything. So there's a lot of information how I built this. So, so just, um, Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the um, the bell icon so that you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos. And please, please comment below about what you think. If is there anything that would help with this? Um, you've got any ideas? Because um, I'm not the smartest. Um, fellow out there so please please um comment below if you like the video even if you didn't like the video so um, please comment below it helps out so without further ado let's get into the video what you've got to do you've got to get your center marks okay I used the first one to get what the first line is this line where all the writing and stuff is that's going to be my first line right there okay that's where I'm going to start with now I've got me a line that runs right across here straight down and so once I once I established that line I created it down there too on the other end all the way down on the other end down here okay and I did I did it on all four sides okay all four sides all right on both sides and um so basically what I did was I started From one end, eight inches. Let's see. I started from this end, right here. Come down eight inches, eight inches, eight inches, eight inches, eight inches, and then eight inches, and then eight inches stop right here. Now, this one right here, eight inches. I'm going to come down probably either another inch or another six. I'll come down six inches because it's too close to the end. So I'm going to bring it down some just to um, get it away from the end of it. But anyway, um, so once I established this one right here, what I did was I knew that I had to get the side ones the ones that had to get it in the center of these so I created a line that was at the center of this which is four inches from there so I measured four inches in between here and got me a measurement so I started so I created a line from there to here to get my first measurement so once I got my first measurement from here, I went down here and, and got all my measures right here. So that's how I got it marked up. So once you get it marked up, what you're going to need is a inch and five eighths um, hole saw bit to drill your holes. You're gonna drill an inch and five-eighths hole in each one of these 
so I'm gonna drill my hose in here and then I'll get we'll get back all right I got all the hose drill now when you're drilling it give you some advice you've got the let me take let me take this off and show you something when you're drilling the hole you got the drill bit here all right you you will have it in forward when you get the drill bit through just ease it through okay and when you hit when the when the blades this blade here hits the plastic put it in reverse okay drill let this drill through the actual um, hole saw drill through in reverse you try to do it in re in forward it is going to chew it up if you do it in reverse you're gonna get a smooth cut okay so just a little trick there all right so make sure you do it in reverse but if you don't do the drill bit in forward you're just gonna stand there and just 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 you about have to stand on it but just ease the drill bit through it in forward once you get it through put it in reverse and go with it with the hose saw through it all right now yes so I'm get with it all right you're gonna heat around the hose this is a thin raw wall plastic so it's not going to take long okay gonna have you a piece of pipe inch and a quarter pipe handy for this see it's already already there so I told you it's not gonna take long you're gonna take that piece of pipe in there and you're just gonna do that that's it and it'd be better if you had a rag I should have had a, a wet rag to lay on it to um, cool it off. This is gel glue quick drying gel glue but I've got some activator that will make it dry even quicker. Do, we're going to seal all the way around this thing.
with some activator. Let's make it set up. All right. There you go. Let's see what that does. You have a little neck cut. And you may have a little bubble. You just come back. Fill in that little, just get that little one down and I think 27 more to go. <laughs> All right, I'm on, not going to, let's do one more. All right. One more. Heat it up. You can tell when it's um, hot enough. The you start kind of puckering the the plastic wheel around the hole. starting to pucker a little. So, yep. And you just stick a... Don't want this thing to look awkward. You don't want your OCD to kick it in. When you go out there to your garden and you look in and that one hole that looks awkward out of all of them and you got it you'll see it every time you go out there and it will drive you nuts and you'll be going down there buying another piece of pipe and redoing it because you didn't do it right the first time so yep let's get it Get it right. Get it right. Right, just get, get the glue. Hit it with some accelerator. Alrighty. Let's get the rest of it. Once it dries, It's going to be fine. It's not going to interfere with. It's not going to release no chemicals or anything like that into the water. It's so. Just that easy. So. There you go. I'm going to get the rest of the 
thing done and then we'll get to the next part.